This is the second section in the uh, first chapter of the Applied Year 2 book on regression, correlation and hypothesis testing. So now we're going to be looking at correlation. Now at GCSE, when you wanted to find the correlation of um, some data, what we call bivariate data, two sets of da uh, two sets of numbers linked to one another, like height and weight, that type of thing. What you had to do was to draw a scatter diagram and um, then look at it and say, right, OK, that's a positive correlation. That's a negative correlation. You might even have commented on the strength of the correlation. But the problem with that is um, you have to draw the scatter graph. Um, there may be loads of data. Um, that's, a, I suppose, a bit easier with something like a spreadsheet. Um, but, you know, different people are going to look at it and come up with different conclusions. What we want is a mathematical way of uh, actually working out what the correlation is. And we have something called the product moment correlation coefficient. It's a mathematical way of working out the uh, correlation of data. And you don't even need to draw a scatter graph and uh, your calculator can even work it out for you. So because it's such a mouthful, this is shortened to the PMCC. And we use the letter R to represent the PMCC. And the PMCC will give us a, a value. And that value will be between zero or negative one and one. So let's put negative, let's put plus one here, put negative one there and zero here and depending on that value it will tell us not only the type of correlation but the strength of correlation so as we go this way we increase in strength with a positive correlation so the closer it is to one the stronger that correlation in fact if r the pmcc was one we call it a perfect positive correlation. You can see that here on the last one. All the points line up very closely on the line. As we move away from one and we get closer to zero, we end up with a weaker positive correlation. So here you can see 0.3 for R, closer to zero. It's a much weaker uh, correlation. In fact, if we had our R value of zero, we would say that there is no correlation. Or if it's very, very close to zero, say no, there's no correlation. You can see that on this one here. Here's no correlation here. Completely scatter all those points. And as we get closer to negative one, we get closer to a stronger negative correlation. So you can see on this one here, negative 0.8 close to negative one we've got a fairly strong negative correlation and on this one here you can see r equals one negative one so we get a perfect positive correlation okay so this can be worked out nice and easy on our calculator so if you've got the class risk calculator which most people have got you'll need to press um, so let's write down finding R, which is the PMCC. So you're going to want to press the menu button and you want number six, it says statistics. So you, you choose number six um, because we are looking at a linear, um, uh, well, we're, we're, you know, we're, we're expecting the, um, the values to be linear so we now choose option two you'll see that it says there y equals a plus bx and maybe you can see how this might link in with the previous section that we did on those exponential models where we changed them into um, those exponential models were linear and then once we've chosen number two we then enter our data and it's going to be in two columns and then once you've enter that data um, you can then do what's called a once you've pressed um, enter your data the next thing you need to do 
is to press the option button OPTN. Perhaps I should put a box around that one as well. And then once you press the option button, you want to press number four, and that will give you a regression calculation and you're looking for R once you've pressed four. Yeah, so menu six, then two, enter your data, press option, and then um, four for regression calculation and we're looking for R. There'll be values of A and B as well. Okay, so let's have a look. So this question is about the large data set and it says from the large data set, the daily mean wind speed, W knots, and the daily maximum gusts, G knots, were recorded for the first 10 days in September in Hearn in 1987. So this row of the table here, that's the daily mean wind speed, mean wind speed, and the bottom row of the table here is the daily maximum gust and these units they're both in knots okay now part a of this question says state the meaning of na in the table so you'll see there's an na here and there's an na here now all that means is for whatever reason the data was not available we don't know the reason why maybe the data wasn't recorded maybe the machinery that records the, the maximum gust wasn't working properly we don't know all we need to say is that um, the data was not available so the na just means not available we don't need to say a reason why it's not available we don't know we can just say the data was not available so it's missing that data Part B says calculate the product moment correlation coefficient for the remaining eight days. So the first thing is this product moment cor correlation coefficient. It's a bit of a mouthful, so we shorten it to PMCC, which is R. So we want to use our calculators to find the value of R. And it says for the remaining eight days. Now this table is for 10 days, but since the PMC is a two variable calculation. We need like a pair of values by variate data and it's missing here. We can't use days eight and nine. So we're gonna cross those out. So these are no use to us. Right, so to get our calculator in the right mode to do this, we're gonna do menu, press the menu button and then six which is statistics. Then we'll choose option two, uh, where it says y equals ax plus b, y equals a plus bx, sorry, y equals a plus bx, just means it's linear. Um, and then we're just gonna type in information from the table. So, um, I'll type in the X values first. They basically represent the W's from my table. So four, four, eight, seven, 12, 12, three, and 10. Okay, and then I'll just scroll across to the second column and type in 13, 12. So after I do each one of these, I'm pressing equals. So I've got to 33, 37, 10, and 23 press equals okay now once I've done that I need to press the option button OPTN which is under shift okay so I'll just put here that we're going to enter the data in the cot in the um, um, table that we have then we press the OPTN button option and we want to do a regression calculation. So this is number four, regression calculation. So all we do now is press number four and we'll see the value of R come up. It gives a value of A, it gives a value of B and that value and A, A and B are these values here basically. So 
you can use that to give you the um, equation of the line of best fit basically that's basically what it is and we get a value of r of no i'm going to write everything down 0 0.9 five three two nine seven three six seven two now we only really need to give an answer to four decimal places that will be fine so r equals 0 0.9533 so that's to 4dp so 4dp would be fine and then we can move to part c and part c says with reference to your answer from part B, which is this answer here, uh, comment on the suitability of the linear regression model for these data. Now, a linear regression model, linear means a, like a line model, basically. Can this be modeled by um, some sort of straight line? And that would be the case if we have a strong positive or negative correlation and then the points form, you know, almost on a straight line. And here we have a value of R that's very close to one. So I would say that we have a very strong positive correlation. So a linear regression model would be suitable because the points almost lie on a straight line. So we'll just write that down. OK, so since um, the value of R indicates a strong positive correlation um, a linear regression model would be suitable in this case So you should now be able to do exercise 1b on pages 6 to 8 of the textbooks and um, we'll just do a quick recap here so we can use our calculator to calculate this value of r which will between be between uh, 1 and negative 1 like this and R we use to represent this thing called the PMCC, the product moment uh, correlation coefficient. As we move towards the edges, it will tell us about the strength of the correlation. So we get here be like strong negative correlation, here strong positive, and middle here, close to the middle, basically means no correlation. And um, using our calculators to work this out. So using calculator. So we don't need to do this uh, manually. It's menu followed by pressing the number six. Once you've done that, um, then we will do option number two which is the y equals ax plus b then you enter your data so enter data and then once you've entered your data you press the option button on your calculator and then select number four which it says regression calculation and then it will give you a value of a a value of b and the value of r that's the one that we're interested in um, and that's basically this thing over here that we're working out